Welcome to Crafted Sweetly. I'm Diana. Thanks so much for being here. So in this video, I'm going to do something a little different. I usually do tutorials on various crafting um, projects. For this, I wanted to give you a product review. And if you like me doing product reviews, please comment below. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you'd like me to do some other ones of some of my favorite products. It's not sponsored by Caterpillar by any means. This is just strictly my opinion on the product. So it's totally honest on as far as what I found with it. Uh, so let me just show, share with you about this trimmer. But before that, this is what I've been using for the longest time. This and also a Fiskars one. It's just your standard paper, paper trimmer. It has an extender arm um, and then your traditional blade that slides back and forth here. Works great if you're a light paper crafter or even if you do a little more. Again, it's been working fine for me for um, for years, um, but I always found that I had to replace this more often than I wanted to. So I wanted to see what else was out there so that I wouldn't have to constantly change this. And then the other thing I found that seemed like it wasn't cutting properly, and it's probably because the blade would wear out, but as I'm cutting it, might not be able to tell on this one. It leaves it a little bit raggedy on the edge. You can kind of see fibers from the paper as if it's not cutting cleanly. And I did not like that one looking at cards to have that on it. But I wanted to show you the Caterpillar. This particular one is the Caterpillar Pro. And it's 13 inches across this way. And it does have the inches and the centimeter measurements. So whichever you're comfortable in working with. When looking at it sideways here, it does have a drawer, which I honestly, I don't think I'm going to use very often. Um, you can keep some tools in here, scissors if you'd like, but um, I don't think I'll be using this often. You can also fit a piece of paper in it if you'd like. On the back side of it, if you look at it, it has a compartment for batteries and that's because you can add lights to this. Benefit is, so I'm going to flip this back here. When I turn the light on, it's a little hard to see this way, but if I put a piece of paper on top of it, you can see right here. It's super easy to see exactly how you're cutting the paper. So instead of kind of estimating, you can place it down and you know that's exactly where your paper is going to get cut, where this dark edge is. So the light comes in handy. One problem with it, obviously it's not going to go through some of your darker color paper. So it's pretty pointless for dark cardstock, but if you're working with something light, then it's easy to see exactly where you're cutting. So that's one feature on this. Now, the other thing with this, it does have, so here's the cutting mechanism. It's in this sliding compartment and the blade is not exposed. So there's no way really for you to reach it. You can tilt it out and kind of feel the blade there, but don't do that. Don't cut your fingers off. So the way this trimmer works, let me turn off the light. The way this trimmer works is when you place the paper down on here, this swings a little bit. So when you're cutting, you want to have the paper flush against here, hold it firmly so it doesn't shift. And then as you're pulling, you don't want this to be loose. You want to press against this side firmly so that it runs right along this blade itself. So it's the combination of this cutter with this blade that's going to go and it's super smooth. It is so smooth. It's amazing. And look at the nice clean cut with it. You can go extra thin. If I turn on the light, I can tell exactly. Well, that might be blinding me a little bit, but I can tell exactly where it's cutting. You can also use guides on here to make sure you're cutting even. But look how thin you can cut with this. I'm going to go just a tiny sliver. I mean, look at this. You can create little curly cues. And all I did was shift this out the tiniest bit 
to create this. I mean, you can certainly use these and card decorating too. Um, and I shifted it out probably a millimeter. But that's how thin you can go with this. So I really, I don't think you would be able to cut it with a Cricut cutter. So let's test this just for comparison's sake. I'm gonna put it here so that's where it normally cuts. I'm gonna put it in just about the same thickness as I did for the other one. So as you can see, it kind of shifted a little bit. I did hold it firmly, but it, it just didn't cut as nicely. So that's definitely a big plus. Not that I often cut this thin, but just the fact that you can cut super thin strips of cardstock, that's pretty awesome. And it just slides, it cuts like it cuts through butter. It's pretty crazy. All right, so that's one. Now let me turn on the light again so you can see with this one, how easy it is to see exactly where the line is. Okay, so if I turn it off and then there's the exactly where it's gonna cut right there. But again, you want to make sure that this is pressed from this side as you go down. Nice and even. Now, one other nice thing with this is that it doesn't have to be just paper. Let me show you with back to this one again. So this is core, a sheet of cork board. If I put this in here and I cut through, this is what's going to happen with it. Okay, so it pretty much just ripped it almost just lots of little tears in it so now let's see how it does in here i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to put it flush against here let me move this up here you could go back and forth the other way it really doesn't matter but i like starting at the top press firmly and you're going to go back look at that this is to cork through cork board so this was cutting it with your standard paper trimmer and then here it is with the cutter pillar that's pretty awesome uh, another one that's hard to cut and a trimmer like this and I'm not just saying with the Cricut but also uh, like Fiskars any of the these types of cutters would never cut through this which is air freshener paper and if you want to look at a fun project um, I did some with air freshener paper I'm using the Cricut machine on that one, but I just wanted to show you, it, this would never cut through here. So if I put through it kind of, see it, it didn't even, it, mar it scored it, but it didn't actually cut through. So let's do it in the cutter pillar. So I'm gonna put it in, see if it makes the light a little bit better here. And press firmly and just come down. And look how nice just completely smooth love this awesome and one other one just to show you real quick is this is chipboard uh, I don't know exactly the thickness I didn't have a sheet of it but I just had this part that I guess you pop up the letter pop out the letter but just wanted to check and see how it cuts through chipboard because technically it does cut through light chipboard so let's try this and look at that and this is heavy pretty heavy now you don't want to cut too thick because you're going to uh, damage this housing compartment which is a re is replaceable so if you need it to you could replace this but uh it cut through chipboard as well so definitely an awesome tr paper trimmer um it beats the other one so i think i'll be retiring the other ones maybe use it occasionally but uh more than likely this is going to be my go-to paper trimmer going forward so i really like and then it does not need sharpening so i'm not going to have to keep replacing this blade it's designed to last many years it says with normal use so as long as you're not cutting through chipboard non-stop um, if you're just using it as regular normal use it's supposed to last for years and as far as the batteries that i put in they says lasts many months with normal use um, I'm not going to constantly have the light on, but 
it, it is a nice feature to have on here. Definitely recommend this. I do have a link below for this particular model if you're interested. But definitely recommend this. And also don't forget then to comment below if you'd like me to do other reviews or show you other products that I use. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you with the next crafting project.